All right, guys, today I'm going to give you a quick look at the Violectric V850 deck. Um, reviewing a lot of dark um, aesthetic gear here, so I apologize for the lighting. I wish that my camera could pick up the LEDs um, proper in this lighting, but just can't. So uh, hopefully one of these days I get a nice new camera for you. Um, but... This should be pretty short and sweet. The Violectric brand um, is a brand that I have always been excited about because back when I started reading uh, NWAV Guy, um, he referenced them once and basically said he was trying to make the um, O2 amp and DAC basically be what Violectric was for 90, 95% of the headphones at a fraction of the cost. And that really is what it comes down to with Bioelectric is price. Um, this thing has an MSRP of $1,500. And um, it is extremely well crafted. Um, all aluminum housing. It is very, um, everything feels nice and metal. This volume knob is the smoothest volume knob um, I have ever encountered. Um, it just is so nice to use. Um, you'll see the mute error button on his or light is indicator is on there um, because it uh, it's not receiving a USB signal right now. It's not receiving any signal right now. It's just plugged in. So there's a nice input selection switch, um, and then resampling mode that allows you to set it up to to resample. Um, and right now it's just set up on best. So this is a unit that I wanted to pick up mostly because my dream reference stack was a bioelectric stack. And so I picked this up along with a bioelectric amp that I'll review later. Um, so some of the complaints about it, let's start with that. Some people um, feel that aesthetically all the lights make it look like a Christmas tree. Indeed, under this exposure, it looks a little bit more like that. Um, seeing it in person, it actually looks a little, a little bit more like Darth Vader's belt. I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I think it's a neat aesthetic. I like uh, all the machining on it. I think it looks really pretty. Some people don't like it. The other thing that's kind of a pain about it is, is it's um, almost, um, well, it's probably about 50% longer than it is wide which is the opposite of most stacks out there. Most stacks are rectangle in the other way than where they're much wider than they are deep. So um, whether it's by design or not, uh, it really doesn't stack well with much else. Um, you know, if you think about what other amplifiers you would stack with it, anything else that you're gonna stack on top of it is gonna look odd. Um, and there's not gonna be a lot of amps you can stack it on top of. Stacked with another bioelectric unit, it looks great. Um, but you can't put like a JDS Labs on top of it because if you're going to pay $1,500 for a DAC, you're going to want it to run uh, XLR, right? You're going to want to use balance. Um, I put the SML SU8 on top of it and it looks silly. Um, if I put this on top of a Vioelectric amp, it looks great. Um, the other knock against it would really be that um, it uses two... Burr Brown 1795 DAX um, running in mono mode on each channel, which is great, but it is a fairly, um, that chip really saw its heyday probably close to 10 years ago, probably about eight years ago. And there's been a lot of DAX that come out from Sabre and AKM um, that objectively measure much better. Um, the founder's argument is that one, um, he doesn't believe those DACs necessarily sound better. And two, um, he thinks that everything beyond this is um, side scientific advancement for the sake of advancement. You know, this thing measures something like a negative 110 um, THD plus N, which is all the better that microphone inputs can do today. So his argument is, hey, you, you're not gaining anything that you're audibly hearing, um, which I can see. So... Um, in use, this thing is really nice to use because of the volume knob. The indicator lights are very nice. I typically do prefer to have a uh, 
visual display, but this does serve a purpose and have a look and it can be a, certainly a nice stack on your desk. Um, the weight feels great, very high quality. You know that you're getting something um, not made in China. This is German made. This is, um, this is the pinnacle of German engineering as far as audio products. Um, you know, like the RME, the RME ADI2 DAC, um, I've owned that as well. Um, that thing's light and all, you know, feels very plasticky, but it's a very good unit. Um, this it feels like it has a lot more heft. No cables are pulling these around. Um, so it's a nice reference that way, good peace of mind, knowing that it's not going to move around on your desk. Um, it's made by people that are working full-time jobs, don't have to have a second one, that sort of thing. Um, now, I can make arguments the other way as well. Like if you can get a DAC that can perform as well as this for um, $200, why pay $1,500? So it really just depends on what you're looking for. It's nice here that you don't have an external wall wart or a power brick. It you know it just plugs right into the back of it. Um, and it does everything it says it does. I don't know that I can discern any sound differences between it and an SU-8 or something along those lines or the Savage D5. Although I will say this has the nicest feel. So if you were going for a reference feel, um, this, this would be it. And, and the nice thing here too is, is um, even out of warranty, talking to the, the distributor here in the States, uh, you can send something to them for a repair. They'll, they'll repair it, send it back to you. You'll pay for shipping all those. As with everything, you'll pay, but you get that amazing service in working with the distributor. You know, I exchanged um, somewhere between half a dozen and a dozen emails before uh, making any purchases, and they were wonderful to work with. This thing looks beautiful. Um, but at the end of the day, um, again, this isn't a gaming review because, you know, most gamers just don't have a need here. Do I recommend buying it on, you know, off the internet at full retail? I just can't. I mean, I love the unit. It's beautiful. Um, you can find them used for about 800 bucks. And uh, if I was going to own it, that's probably how I would own it. Um, and I really like it. And I really like the founder. I was even able to exchange messages with the, the company owner. Um, I love it to death. I myself personally just can't stomach fifteen hundred dollars for a deck that doesn't do something absolutely amazing. But very cool unit, great reference stack setup. I really enjoy it. I enjoy the look on my desk. I can think of a lot of reasons to make excuses to keep it, um, but for me, probably not. So um, I highly recommend the Vioelectric brand if you can get a great deal. Um, up to you if MSRP is worth it to you or not. So. Thanks for checking this one out, guys. If you have any comments or questions, drop them uh, below and I'll check them out and uh, I will talk to you later. Thanks.